Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. Today we are looking at a song. I'm going back to picking some odd stuff. Uh, stuff with low, uh, low requests and uh, low thumbs ups and stuff like that. You know, uh, stuff on the fringe. I'm, I'm wanting to get back into some of the, uh, the unknown bands. It's kind of what, what I'm in the mood for for today anyways so uh this request comes courtesy of uh, elizabeth de lorenzo and uh, we're requesting for body language by balance and composure and uh balance and composure is always a good thing to have so uh let's get into this one comes off of the slow heart ep I should probably start doing that more often. Just uh, kind of checking out the description of the video and uh, labeling the, the album. All right, I'm rambling. Let's get into this. Running on the back beats, but also the guitars doing some uh, some layering there. That little shift does so much with the time. Bass is really prominent in the mix too, which is cool. I like how empty the song sounds without that second guitar track, and the fact that they kind of let the song have that emptiness. All right. So there's a lot of uh, playing with time right here. Uh, but it's not a lot. They actually reset every four bars, it feels like. It's just enough to feel odd without really getting the listener lost.
All right. So, balance and composure. Uh oh. YouTube almost auto played the next song. Uh, balance and composure. All right. All right. So, uh, this, uh, it's kind of cool. We, we don't typically do rock, uh, around here very often. Not anymore. At least I'm getting a lot of metal requests and that's fine. Uh, you know, I've obviously have a lot of, uh, subscribers, viewers who want, uh, my thoughts on metal and i have no problem listening to metal and giving my thoughts on that but uh i do enjoy rock music uh and especially this kind of rock music and what i mean by that is this is a band that does a lot with a little and a lot of the stuff we talk about on this channel are bands that go all out and they are doing a lot with a lot stuff like uh you know nightwish and uh, 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 Leprous is that the song? Is that the name of the band? Uh, I hope so. Um, what was another one? Oh, uh, Mashuga was yesterday. Um, even though they don't have that many instruments, they did a lot of musical ideas and techniques. It wasn't a lot with uh, the band, but this band uh, uses some very simple ideas and a small amount of instruments. And still make something bigger out of it. They have really... It's almost like a withheld type of uh, composition. Where it seems like the band could be a little more technical in the time aspect. But they don't. They're withheld just enough where it's technical to a point where there are points where... You're kind of wondering where the downbeat is. Or maybe it feels just a little out of time, out of sync, but they don't let you sit in that area, that feeling too long. Um, the core, no, the verse uh, does some interesting things with switching to the backbeat, but they don't stay there very long. It's only four, eight bars, something like that, uh, before they return back to, you know, settling in the groove, sitting on the, sitting on the downbeat. The bridge came in, and they were playing a three note phrase in 4-4. Four, four, so you're going to have some beats that hang over into other bars. Uh, but they don't stay that, stay that way for too long. They put an accent uh, after, two note, or after two beats uh, to kind of line everything back up. So after four bars, you get a downbeat again. Even though the rhythm doesn't account for it, they force the rhythm to do it. So that you can find that beginning. You can find that start again of the, of the musical phrasing. Um, they have a uh, counterpoint and melodic layering in the verse. They have two guitars and a lead singer, all with their own melodic lines. But it doesn't stay that way for too long. There's breaks. The second guitarist doesn't play all the time. Um, and the lead singer doesn't play all the time. The, the guitar, the, the primary guitar, guitar one, is, uh, is the only instrument that plays throughout the entire verse. The other two come and go. So, you know, they have these areas where they're saying, okay, we can do these these more advanced compositional techniques, but they withhold them enough to not overload the audience, the, the listener. And there's, there's, a, there's a real skill, a real craft to that, to being technical enough to, to kind of, Add a little in intellectualism to your music, but not being overly technical to exclude a general audience. And I think this song is very approachable. It has a very mainstream sound to it, even though it has some of these more advanced ideas where you have more than one melodic line, where you have the drummer playing around with the time of the song. There, there's a real craft to that. And uh, you don't see it very often because it's difficult to do. It's a very thin line between being too technical for an audience and not being technical enough to be appreciated 
uh, outside of just being generic, you know. Um, you're either too generic or too technical. It's kind of hard to toe that line sitting in between where you can be a technical, have a technical song, but still uh, capture the mainstream audience. Now, that isn't to say that this is a mainstream band. I've never heard of them. I don't know how popular they are. Um, assuming that this is their YouTube uh, channel, they only have 2,500 subscribers. Um, it doesn't have the little eighth note marked next to it to denote that it's uh, you know an official music channel. So I don't know if this is their official channel or not, but... The song only has 30,000 views. They only have 2,500 subscribers. That's not a very big, very big band. Um, however, I was going to say they are newer, but 2017 is when this video was posted. So, yeah. But they have a very mainstream sound to them, even though they're not a mainstream band. Um, I do have one criticism for the song, though, and I don't know if it is... Uh, something that the band does all the time or if it's just something you're doing for the song and it lines up with the lyrics or something like that but the song has one soundscape it has one style um, you could skip around between the section of the song and just kind of skip 30 seconds ahead skip a minute ahead skip 45 seconds ahead and on a first listen I don't think you'd be able to tell much of a difference between you wouldn't be a real you wouldn't be able to really tell where you are. Every section of the song sounds the same. There isn't much range to the vocal melody. There isn't much range to the guitar melody. Um, the drum would actually be the most dynamic instrument compositionally, uh, and it still only goes between two to three different uh, rhythms. Or guitar, what do you call a drum riff? I don't know. A musical idea for the drum. Um, it's every sec every part of the song is very samey. Uh, the, the, the sections don't really have much of an identity to them. It's a very narrow soundscape for the song, um, and that's not really a negative. Like I said, it could go along with the theme of this, the lyrics. It could go along with the theme of the album. It could just be their style. Uh, I would just really appreciate something that was a little more dynamic and had uh, sections of personality to it. That's more of a personal bias, not a slight against the song itself, though. Uh, so, yeah, balance and composure, um, body language, pretty good song. I don't know if it would necessarily be something I listen to all the time. Like I said, it, uh, it was a little repetitious for me in the soundscape area. I do enjoy some of the techniques and compositional ideas they were going uh, for in the song though, and I'm not, uh, I'm interested in seeing what else they have. So that's where I sit. What do you guys think of Balancing Composure uh, by Body Language? No, Body Language by Balancing Composure. Okay, I'll get that right one time. Uh, let me know, comments while you're down there, like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and uh, I will be back tomorrow, Thursday, at 11 a.m. as usual. Until then, you all have a fantastic day.